Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Oh my, here we are. Wild Goose Podcast. Goose. How's it shaking? It's been shaking pretty good, Zachy boy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, bud. So, uh, listen, um, what I'd like to speak about is... Uh, what? You know, it's it's 2022. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, what's good that happened coming into this year, uh, the good news is St. Rhodes, the patron saint of the almighty black label of inspiration, yeah, has finally gotten into the Rock Hall of Fame. Finally. Let's give it up. Now, what nice. I'd like to know is... As you mentioned when when we first heard about the news, you said yeah. we always knew that Randy was a Hall of Famer. As soon as yeah. we, as soon as you heard the intro, to I don't know without a doubt, it was already lights out, game over. It was now, already in. The what I want to know is, here we are, forty years right. later, and was it because somebody's nephew walked in with a St. Rhodes T-shirt on or something and was like, hey, maybe we should put this guy in now. No, I think I just had to marinate it. Let, it. let it marinate for about a good, between 30 to 40 years. <laughs> and that's when you finally realize, well, wow, this guy really is something he special. Is pretty, after that length of time. Wait, now, but well, you can't do it right away. You got to let it sit. Now, once again, well, well we've, we've talked about this before now. What I've always said is like, who is this panel? <laughs> and what I want to know is this. <laughs> what I'd like to know, and I always find amusing, like when we talk about any Hall of Fame for about that matter, whether yeah, yeah. it's football, baseball, the Wrestling Hall of Fame. That's a good one. What? Like, you, we already know who's <laughs> who, who is who and who who's is. already I in know. it. Exactly. Like, like now, I, I'm saying, like, does it? Does now? Is it, does does it, it validate anything? I don't that's think what so. That's I'm saying. It's already been validated. What, what, what is the point? You know what no, I mean? no, but like it's, for all my friends that always lose their minds. Yeah, over this stuff. Over the Rock and yeah, Roll yeah, Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah, I, I go like this, I go, I go, I can't believe that so-and-so yeah, got yeah. it and so-and-so didn't or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and yeah. I go, but like, you know, or Deep Purple's not in her. I think Judas Priest didn't get in yet or something like that. Yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. but... They're already in. Ask any fan yeah, right. of the band. Yeah, right. Like, like. Is Zeppelin in the hall? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm hoping somebody. I, I hope I'm they crossing get, my fingers for know, that one. You know, we'll see if they can make it. I don't know if they were, were good enough. My, my question is, will the Beatles ever make it? Probably not. <laughs> I don't think so. That's what I, I mean, but like, I'm nah. just always curious, like, like how we always saw, you know, with, with Thurman Munson. Not being you know, like how they'd say, well, because right, his career play, wasn't right, long enough, or whatever long, the numbers were, right? You know, but within the sports world, where, but I mean, we all know Thurman. You know, you look at his numbers and everything like that. So you know, it's he's a he's a Hall of Fame player. You know, in that regard, right? But he just didn't have the time. You know, if he would have played another eight years, you know, if he would have lived. And then, you know, continue to do what he did for that much more time than he definitely would have. But I know he's saying if there would have been a fall off, then but it, yeah, but then it would have been a question. But exactly. then again, look, he knows? was already the captain, all the clutch yeah, moments yeah. Oh, and everything like that. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of like I wonder if Derek Jeter's going to But, get you know, they always that, had you know? milestones, too, in the, in the baseball Hall of Fame. The 500 home runs, you know, the 3,000 hits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shit I got like you. That, I got you. Know? you. So, but, I mean, it's kind so of. So he was, yeah, he Or with the Undertaker. Well, you know, he's nineteen and zero exactly he's until the until the streak got broken, and then I wouldn't put him in the Hall of Fame. Then, but but if he didn't get to nineteen and zero, right? Well, he or did. if he was eighteen and zero, you wouldn't have put him in. No, but the fact that he was one away from twenty, exactly. <laughs> but then he lost, so then I would have just he would you would have you would have just erased him all would, together. Yeah, he was erased. <laughs> he's he's lost. Amazing. He lost. What was everything. his last? What was his last WrestleMania? He oh, lost. Well, they, no, I think, actually, I think he may have won. I'm, I'm oh, not did sure. he come back? We're gonna have to look back. Yeah. Well, regardless, yeah, it's 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 pretty silly. You know what I mean? We growing up, you, you know who who is and who isn't. You know, but I'd like to know who the council is. <laughs> who, who are the people that are voting on this? I would I hope know. it's like people that you know, like voting for the Mister Olympia. 
Right. I would be hope that everybody. People, well, no, we don't want former bodybuilders no? or former Mr. Olympias or want, former like, like winners of chefs, Mr. America's. Like no, Baker, <laughs> people that are completely out of shape, yeah. that completely have horrendous <laughs> diets, right, right. and that are completely, absolutely right. out of shape, but have never stepped a foot in a weight room. <laughs> Just put, put them in there. Put them because in they charge have about as much of making decisions. It. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now that's who I think should be this council voting. On who should be in. Oh, you know. you know, for like guitar. Like someone, you know, should Al Demiola be in there or John McLaughlin and Paco? Like a construction you know, worker. Get people that have never even picked up a guitar. <laughs> yeah, like a carpenter. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. Yeah, or no, because that's too close to he may have possibly made a guitar. Oh. So you don't want anyone being <laughs> a, a guitar truck driver, a <laughs> sanitation worker. He may have transported yeah, you, guitars. Yeah, you know, oh, wow. Jesus. Uh, uh, you're pigeonholing me. <laughs> <laughs> I just would love to know the council. Uh, that makes these decisions. Yeah. Uh, who knows? <laughs> the Knights Templar. I don't know. Oh <laughs> I have no idea. Just get people that know nothing about the subject or right. have never even heard of any of these bands to decide. <laughs> but it's so who's funny. Going 40 in. years later, then Randy gets it. Think it's, people it's, like, like, is that, it's like the, the committee. Is it the old age committee? I or don't something, know. You know, like a senior committee? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like they do in baseball. Well, you know? I, I just think, I just think like when Ozzy got the, is Ozzy got the Grammy, the, well, Oz, I, you know, in there. I'm sure, I'm sure the boss is in there. I don't so know if he's we'll have to look it up. Is, is he, is he worthy of being in there? I don't know of all his legendary performances. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a toss up. Yeah. And the gazillions of records sold. It's a whatever. fine line. I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, but what, what was I going to say? It's just like, I, I just don't even, yeah, I, I don't even know, man. I don't, I don't know, even man. know where, where, it, where it goes. And, you know, and I mean, where well, that kind of drops off and just leads us to another thing, or we just go into this, why you actually picked up a bass or an instrument right. in the first place. Because I know it wasn't your love of music. It was just no. to get chicks. I, you know, I needed all the help I could get, man, especially <laughs> at that point. At, like, that, at that stage of my life, I definitely needed help. And, but that, uh, that is always an interesting question. That I was whatever I was gonna ask ago. <laughs> Zach, what's the reason why you picked up the guitar? Yeah. You know, and you just Chicks. assume it's like well, <laughs> love no, of music. You love Jimmy of music. Page. Yeah, Jimmy Page, Randy Rhodes, <laughs> Tony Iommi, <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix, Frank no Moreno. Way, it's like no, I want to get a girl. I go, but yeah. wouldn't it just be easier just walk up and go, hi? Would you like to go to the movies? <laughs> and if she says no, right, then there's your answer. Exactly. Like I mean, oh, it's I the fact that like I could play right. that I could play Crazy Train gonna help me get a D. Well, it probably would because a lot of loser kids, are, you know, they need all they can get. Like I, do. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying so. It helped me a bit. So. Well, that's when you learned how to put the kiss makeup on. <laughs> Without a doubt, that that's where it all started. You know, the and tongue that led to Jocko and the tongue, and then you know that's why I got you know the girls. Oh, because I can sing. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> See. I'm kind of clueless in certain areas. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's, That's all right. right. Yeah, it all makes sense now. Yeah. But now, did you ever have any of your buddies that did pick up an instrument because they wanted to get checks? Oh, yeah. Totally. Because they saw all the success I was having. So they're like, <laughs> you know, they're all good looking dudes and shit. So they're like, yeah, I can do this easier then. But it didn't work out for them. Did they still play? No, <laughs> they, they played for like two weeks trying to try to get laid, and then that was. They said, "What? Well, this is a little too much work." It was too much work, you know. They couldn't even make one note sound good, so that was over. <laughs> but they go, "This is actually going to involve this, this a actually, smidgen of work." Wow, you guys really actually put time into this. Thing. <laughs> I got to learn you how know? to play scales. <laughs> well, you know, no thanks. I just looked up, you know, look cool up there and shake my head around. You know? Even a bar chord's too much. Oh my god! Even for me, I'm telling you, man, bar chords are there. They are. Tough, yeah, but that man. is one of the secrets. Especially that is on acoustic. Contain the power. On acoustic. Playing bar chords. Wow. Well, unless you it's got a tough. good acoustic. Yeah. Well, put that action back in the day. Did. We didn't really. Oh, that's when you had the action was ten feet. Yeah. Off the <laughs> it's board. like yeah. I can't play a bar chord. No, you'll what have. A, is this? You'll have forms like Popeye. Exactly. You know. You know that's that's where you get it from. A lot of it came from there. Oh, well, and some other things. Yeah, well, too. other things that we can't talk about at this moment. <laughs> we probably will get into uh, later we on. We can speak our... about it, but let's right. just, I'd rather just keep it yeah. keep it family oriented. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, right. yeah, that is that is. But but you know the fact that I, I still think it is pretty funny. I, like forty years later. Yeah. You you got to be kidding me, right? Like, I know. Why forty years? I mean, hey, at least they're recognizing them, you know, and, and keeping keeping them alive now for these kids. Who don't even know who he was. It's pretty crazy. 
like the history it gets lost, man, throughout the years, man. So in that aspect, in that you know aspect, I think it's kind of cool that they bring them around now, you know, make them relative again for the people that don't know. That's the only thing I can get out of it. But it is That's pretty good. crazy. This oh, it's length just ridiculous. Of time, oh, it's ridiculous. I, you know, it's, it's just... But like I said, if I could take something good out of it, that would be it. Yeah. No, you know I what mean, I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, wherever his name is, you know. Because there's a lot of kids that don't mentioned. even know, you know, anything about, like, the, the old school history. Like, having them think probably you were in fucking Black Sabbath. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Yes. And that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I well, mean, so I think it's cool. Well, that's what I tell people. I go, yes, I do. Play the Zach Sabbath cover band yeah. of Black Sabbath, but no, I the first three-year-old guitar player that yeah. ever ever made it. Yes. <laughs> Cheers on Cheers, that one, bro. But uh, no, nah, it's pretty funny. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is pretty awesome, though. I yeah. mean, in, in that regard, too, because I, like I was telling everybody, I go, if they put everybody in in the first year. Now we have no need to come back to this party <laughs> exactly. next year. Exactly. So, like every, I go, it's just. Just everyone calm down. Right, right. Everyone, Deep Purple's going to get in there. And yeah. so is Judas Priest. I always we, thought that lyric was, the heart of rock and roll is in Cleveland. Isn't that what, what is it? Yeah, is it? Yeah, that's... Is it a beating? I always thought it was the, the reference to the... I think it's, it's, it's beating. beating, right? I always thought it was Cleveland. But that's a good excuse to put it in <laughs> Cleveland. They did wind up putting it in Cleveland, so I thought it was there already. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What else did you know? I didn't know. Hey, but I'll, I got to say, I don't know much of anything. No Huey, no Lewis, no wait, no Huey, no, no news, no, no thanks. <laughs> oh, that's the T-shirt. <laughs> that's I'm great. Grab that one, by the way. But uh, <laughs> oh my, you yeah, yeah, gotta love it. But uh, oh, yeah. So what else is shaking, Goose? Well, what else we got we're going in New on? New York City, man. You guys came on the coldest day in history yesterday. Yes, and then, I, well, it was, you know, we were going to book a flight to Siberia, but I said, why <laughs> bother? They, they, they let's just go, let's exactly. go straight to New York and get oh some pizza and bezels. But today is nice, and uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in New York right now with the sports and shit. The gambling's allowed now, today. Which is kind of crazy that it isn't allowed everywhere. I know. Because what I'm just saying, if it, generates, if it generates that How many much? jobs and generates everything. Crazy, dude. I mean, for years, people in New York would, like, well, we've had it legal now in Jersey for a few years. So they would go over to Jersey or they would have a bookie or some shit. You know what I mean? All this illegal activity. Now it's it's legal. And uh, this week is the playoffs. So they did it, like, right in time. You know what I mean? For the NFL. Because that's, like, the biggest money-making, you know, shit there is in gambling. So, like you said, though, but why haven't they had it for so long? I mean, I had to sign up, uh, you know, between gambling and prostitution, yeah, you know, yeah. like legalizing stuff like that. Right. I mean, my marriage contract, Barbara, because she can't keep her hands on me. She had to leave. I had to sign a contract that I'm surrendering myself and I'd have to prostitute myself <laughs> out to her. I know that's not true. <laughs> well, it, it is in the contract, <laughs> and, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, she's just relentless. She can't keep her hands off me. And it's just... It, well, you're sexy. It's, you know, it's kind happens. of brutal at times, but I got to be on top of my game. <laughs> well, that's what you know. That's why you get a little AIDS and a little. Well, you know, it's not. Well, it's the sacrifices you make. For you me. know what I'm saying. But um, yeah. Besides that, well, the Giants uh, fired their coach. The GM's gone. So this is the third string of of uh, coaches that lasted two years after Coughlin. Tom Coughlin left. They've had three coaches since then lasted two years. So for the last six years, so if you're not winning coaches, instantaneously, you're, you're done. I get I, well. That's what Barbara Ann says. If you know, right. that's what. If I don't put out, right, you're gone. <laughs> so you know, she has, that's, and I understand. She's, and and that's know, why you had to get a gig. It's so young because she's, you know, she's you, paying for the product. <laughs> so the whole thing is well, she, she's she just some kind of return. <laughs> she has to get some kind if of return. She's a bad this. return. Yeah, she could say, "I don't want this anymore." <laughs> I'm moving on. Thank, like, and I, who would blame her? You know, I mean, personally. <laughs> anyway, I still don't know what she saw in you, but hey, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, are. you are. I'm here. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, you know, that's it. Just, you know, Rangers are kicking ass. Uh, that's about it, man. So life's pretty good for you right life's now. Life's pretty good right now. And then we uh, just got done doing a. Big hot rock tour. That was great, man. Two months solid. 
No issues. Everything was great. Shows were awesome. Meet and greets were great. The bands were killer, man. I never even <laughs> no heard of them before. Aside of the fact that I'm still playing guitar and singing. Well, I, I can't have everything I want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would have I would have changed that in the first week. <laughs> Actually, of, you know, 99. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but no, it was great, man. I mean, I never really, you know, heard Obituary or Prong Live, and they were really great and really cool people. It was good. It was a good time, man. It always is a good It was time good. I mean, no one got no one got COVID. I mean, mind you, no. a lot of people got uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, and herpes. Yeah. <laughs> there was a rash of that running through the, <laughs> through the, through the, through the no lice. Camps. No lice. No. Nah. And I had rid anyway, that stuff, you know, that gets rid of it. Okay. Just, just mean, in yeah. case that ever happened. I never but no, that was great, man. 44 shows, uh, 59 days. Tried to get in some matinees, but I don't think it worked. No. Nah. <laughs> Nobody agreed for that in the country. No. Nah. But um, yeah, it was great. We got and then we did uh, the Thanksgiving thing. That was awesome. And we released our record. Yep, Young Crew Inc. is out. out now. Yeah, and uh, it's it's doing great. And then I can't wait to get back out there and fucking you know, support it, man. Uh, well, that'll be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, for the next several years. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> the game plan. <laughs> if we're here, <laughs> and Barb's constantly asking, "When are you leaving?" <laughs> well, I'm home. Good. When are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. First day. Oh, Man. boy. Well, anyways. Yeah. So, uh, let's moving on mm -hmm. to the road. Things that we do enjoy. Let's talk a little bit about uh, What's that? the wild goose at the movies. Ah. Oh. All right. So we, we do were, enjoy going through We the were movies. just discussing it before because I followed Jaws. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Jaws 4. Another class. I was out. I was out by then. I got to admit. All right, I was so wait, out. After we had Jaws 1, classic. Where were you when you saw Jaws 1? I was, uh, man, what, what was I, like 10 Did you actually old? see it in the theater? In the, oh, totally. Of course. My brother took me, right? Because it was whatever, PG or something, and yeah, you can go with a parent or whatever. So he took me, and I fucking came home and had a nightmare <laughs> that I thought Jaws ate my mother at bingo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> so that was terrifying, man. Especially when you're how old? We were like you Not know yet. nine or ten years old, man. Was, it, we were seventy eight, eight years old. What was it? Seventy five. Seventy five. Exactly. So we were eight. So I remember my father took me to see it, and I remember I was. Front you were in third grade, man. <clears throat> and I remember when I got home, I was afraid to sit on the toilet because <laughs> he was going to come up and get you. I was terrified. Totally, I was too. Had a. That a 30-foot great white was going to come out of the toilet. I'm still terrified to sit on the toilet. And I was going to get quinted. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best, right? Who didn't want to see blood come out of somebody's ears and mouth? Uh, I thought that was, was a kid. I thought that's what was going to happen to me. But, you know, because I look back on it now. It was terrifying. Without it, but I was thinking about taking, like, Sabbath. If I took Sabbath to one of these movies, because he's nine now. Yeah. Right. Maybe you can only see Jaws. In the movie theater. Well, now nah, it wouldn't be. You know, we would have to. We'd I have guess to the play. Exorcist would be next. Oh, <laughs> that was another classic. Again, we were, you know, we were so young, man, and it was so that much more scary too. When you're when you're that young. Now, what other ones did you see at that age? Oh, the Omen. You saw the Omen. I saw the you? Omen when, like, you know, pretty soon after it came out, on like you know, WHT Wometco. Is that what made you want to get a Rottweiler? <laughs> Same that because you wanted to doubt. be terrified in a second. Definitely. <laughs> I was always checking my head too to see if I had the six the six six. 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 Yeah, you know, but I didn't. So uh, I did was you check it when you were listening to Iron Maiden. Uh, the beast. Without a doubt, <laughs> that's when I really was. I was in there. You to know, see getting in there. Deep. Number in yeah, head. but it wasn't there. Man. <laughs> you I was always found six six. <laughs> six, six, five. <laughs> five and a half. Almost there. Almost. You know, I found lice, you know, other things. Not really. Shit, but, you know, <laughs> wasn't really satanic, but, you know. The ability you, wasn't up to snuff. Nah. No, it just wasn't evil. <laughs> you were demoted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Out of the club. But, um, yeah, I met a lot of the horror movies. Uh, and then we always watched, you know, the classics, you know, the Frankensteins and, and stuff and the Wolfman. <laughs> he was my favorite. What about Abbott and Costello? That was the best because you had everything. You had Abbott and Costello, so funny. And then you had that one, the Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Dracula. Forget it. And then do you remember the last scene in the boat? Of that, of, of that yeah. movie. Yeah. 
What happened? It was yeah. Vincent Price, and he goes, "Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the Invisible Man." And remember, he unwraps his head, and then it and, was Vincent Price. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Abbott's like, you know, Costello, or whatever, to like swimming away or something. It's pretty stupid, but uh, that was great, man. It was it, now it wasn't <clears> bad at all. Now talking about such a great, great time. Wild Goose go to the movies. Yeah, because we're huge fans of Kong and Godzilla. Oh yeah, Kong well, House now. Now you said it was a Kong. House. It was a Kong house. house. Yeah, at the Serbian house. Without a doubt, now, a Kong house. The first one from what was it, sixty two, but this last one that you just saw. What were your thoughts? <laughs> oh my god! Should have stopped in sixty two. The best thing about the last one was the theater seats. <laughs> you enjoyed those, dude. I took the picture. And I was like, Zaggy, look at this. It's like you're kicking out. I can eat that. I can live here. It's amazing. And we stayed for three days. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, that was probably the best part. And the surround sound sounded great. It, it looked great. I wanted to see it in the movies because, you know, the, the it looks awesome on the big screen and stuff. But, <laughs> but we said it in the movie, though. Godzilla didn't win. Oh, yeah. He's the king of the monsters. Because he, he saved is. Kong. He saved Kong. And Could have killed him. Right. And then it took the both of them to beat the mega and Godzilla. Kong saved him. Right. Exactly. So it kind of, and then they looked at each other like, "Ah, you know what? Maybe we'll go out for coffee." Exactly. But Godzilla, knowing that he is the king, he beat him. He beat him. He beat Kong's ass. I was upset. I shed a tear. Everyone in the Deservio. Ah, we all shed a tear. (laughs) (laughs) We said it's fixed. It was the fix. The fix was in. You know what I mean? But uh, it was. Well, there were there any illegal chairs or any ladders or any any illegal weapons? (laughs) No, no, no. There wasn't. He just, he just got, he beat him. He beat him. You know, gouging in the eye, you know, <laughs> threw salt in his eyes. Remember that? that was the no shots behind the back of the no, head. No, no. kidney punches. No, he, he straight, he flat out beat him. So he really is the king of the monsters. I love to know how he found out that all this was happening, though. Godzilla. What, with, with, uh. <laughs> with the whole thing with the nuclear plant or whatever that they're planning, well, their, their attack. Well, I heard he did go to Rutgers College. That's what it was. <laughs> he just, he was dialed in. Chemical engineering uh, as well. But I'm like, did they up. call him? Like, Godzilla, you better get up here. I yeah. think that's what may have happened. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he went back to an old alumni with his basketball he's game. He's got his big ass cell Watch phone. madness or something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Where was Godzuki? Yeah, that's what I always wondered. Oh, baby Godzuki? Yeah. Now, but that was always the big thing. You know? What is Godzilla? A guy or a gal. Did he have it? Did he <laughs> have this thing? <laughs> is he know. a ma- hermaphrodite? This was a big question. Maybe. I think he was, right? It, I don't I know. think that's why I'm confused to this day. <laughs> that's what I blame it on. Godzilla's sexuality. I mean, what was he? We, I, You know what? I always thought he was a guy, but then he had the kid. We're like, well, then what happened? <laughs> what, did he shit him out? I mean, <laughs> you know? I mean, what the fuck, man? Really. Oh my god! But that is that is a question. We should go back and research that. It's amazing that it started off with a rock and roll hall of fame, and we ended up here. <laughs> that's what that's what happens on this podcast. You just don't know. We don't know. Once again, a happen. podcast of zero <laughs> nutritional value. Exactly. Oh, we're delivering. <laughs> well, we got to live up to it. Yeah. But yeah, pretty pretty funny, man. But. We, we're going to research that for everybody and find out, <laughs> actually, who gave birth to Godzuki. Because that's been we've been fucking pondering this question for 40 years now. Almost as long as the Randy Rhodes uh, yeah. pondering of that. You know, so these are questions we got to get to the bottom line. We will try our best The for important questions on the Wild Goose Podcast. Exactly.